For a computer to communicate with another computer through our plain old telephone service is it had to convert the digital parallel information that it has here and send it and at the other end receive parallel digital information back to the other computer. Now this network or plain old telephone service that we had could only handle sounds, tones. So we have something called a modulator, demodulator, connected to the sending computer here that had a maximum throughput of 56k and what the modem would do is to convert the parallel information into serial information as it sent it through the system. But not only from parallel to serial, but it had to convert the high and low voltages that you've got here into high and low tones so that it would be able to be sent through our telephone service. Now, that's what the modulator did. It did parallel to serial and then it would actually convert that to high and low tones. Now the plain old telephone service that we've got here is a very slow means to send information from one point to the other, especially serially. And so what this modem would have inside, it would have a codec to compress the information, send it through, and on the other modem there would also be the same codec to decompress that same information so that you get a higher throughput through our plain old telephone service. So the digital information here would be going from parallel to serial, converted to tones, compressed, sent through our plain old telephone service, decompressed, converted again from tones back to digital highs and lows into a parallel format for this computer to understand at this end here. And here we can see a summary of what the modem does. Now our Freedom K64 is connected directly to our PC using a USB connector. This means that there is no network between your PC and the Freedom K64. Therefore there is no codecs or compression decompression algorithms between the two. The data is not compressed or decompressed as it goes between the two boards. And for uncompressed data flow, baud rate can be defined as the number of bits per second transferred between the PC and the Freedom K64. So the default baud rate for the Freedom K64 is 9600 baud or 9600 bits per second. PuTTY is the terminal program on the PC and it treats your PC as if it was just a simple keyboard and screen, in other words a terminal. The baud rate for PuTTY must be matching the one for the Freedom K64. If you wish to use a higher baud rate than 9600 baud, you can no longer use printf. You will have to use a modified version of printf to do this, and there's documentation on showing you how to do that. But even if you want the higher baud rate, you do have to make sure that the PuTTY baud rate and the Freedom K64 baud rate are set the same so that the two systems can communicate properly